got a price tag that's a real price tag and that doesn't escalate for their own credibility. They want to make sure that they get that price tag right so that they can gain more confidence from strap hangers every day. And I think the real conversation needs to be um, how is Albany going to step up and work with the city on funding the MTA, especially the next five-year capital plan uh, that is set to come up, I believe, next year is when the new capital plan comes into place. And then conversations that uh, I think need to happen on whether or not it should be a five-year capital plan, maybe it should be a 10-year capital plan, which gives more certainty to the capital plan, where you can always do amendments midway, but to have greater, longer-term planning. So I support, and I think the chair does as well, his committee has oversight over the MTA, the, the Byford Fast Forward Plan. Juliet. I don't, I don't know anything about it. Somebody broke into or got into a shelter the other night, jumped the roof, and robbed an apartment in the building next door and came down through the building and out the front door. That's horrifying, and I hope that the NYPD is able to apprehend uh, the person who victimized someone and committed a crime. Um, it's horrifying. Well, I, I believe, and again, if the staff, if I'm wrong on this, uh, I believe that in the past for DHS facilities, there are what are called DHS peace officers who are stationed outside of those facilities, though I guess that only happens when facilities are actually operational. So I don't know what happens in instances when the city is converting an existing building into a homeless shelter, but that's an important question to ask, and it's a question that we will ask to ensure that these buildings are safe and that people can't enter them during the construction process for their own safety, but also for the safety of the people who live in the surrounding buildings. Jeff. The uh, bees yesterday got me thinking. <laughs> Yes. Did that, was that ever settled? I looked it up on Legistar, but Legistar's down. Oh. So we're hearing that bill at the next dated, we're voting on that bill at the next dated meeting. Okay. Councilmember Chin supports that bill, and uh, that bill will move forward. And just a quick unrelated question. Uh, are you watching the debate tonight? Will you be there? What are you doing? Um, I am DVRing it because I'm going to see Crazy Rich Asians uh, <laughs> with, uh, with, with, with with a friend uh, at eight o'clock in Times Square. What time's the debate on? Seven to eight. Yeah, uh, so maybe I'll get to watch part of it. Last questions? It's hot in here under these lights. So, yeah. You guys didn't get the joke. <laughs> <laughs> So in the last eight months, this council has passed landmark sexual harassment legislation, created an independent charter revision commission for the first time, passed a waste equity bill that was didn't pass for a dozen years, revived the for hire vehicle legislation, which is extremely complicated, asked for transparency from Airbnb, voted on major land use items, that matter to neighborhoods across the city and is now uh, doing this today and getting the speed cameras turned back on and there are many, many other things that I didn't include. We have had an unbelievably busy eight months and the issues that we've dealt with have not been easy issues. They've been complicated issues with a whole host of stakeholders and that has related to different levels of government in many ways. And I'm really, really, really proud of the staff and the council members here, um, and myself too, for getting us to this point, for working really hard to tackle these complicated issues. So um, in my five years in the council, this is the busiest summer that I've ever had. Uh, there are going to be other issues that we're gonna look at. I am really committed to having a conversation and moving the ball forward on um, zoned commercial waste um, 
you know, the city has to conduct an environmental impact study on that, which delays the amount of time until we can actually uh, move forward on that bill. Uh, there are um, other bills out there related to small businesses. There are bills out there <clears throat> related to vendors. There are bills out there related to housing. There are bills out there related to school safety. So there are still a huge number of bills which members are extraordinarily eager to see move forward this fall. And so I think we're gonna have a even busier fall than we've had summer, um, which is hard to imagine because it has been a very, very busy summer. But I'm really proud of the work we've done so far, and I still think there's a lot of work to, to still get done. Anyone else? Thanks. Rich. Are you gonna take a vacation? I took, I took a vacation over the 4th of July. I was away in Provincetown over the 4th of July. It was great. I mean, I always work, in a, and I, don't, I like working, so um, it was okay. So I was on the phone a lot, and then the last week I went to P-Town uh, for a few days, and I was on the phone most of the time dealing with the speed camera issue. But it was great. Uh, I love Provincetown, um, but I also love working, and so, um, <laughs> You know, sometimes it's okay to work from a separate location and feel like you're semi-vacationing, but still working. So you feel like you're getting a break while also getting things done. And so, um, and, and uh, you know, there are a lot of people in New York City that don't have generous vacation policies and that work really hard to put food on the table for themselves and for their families who don't receive paid vacation, who don't receive appropriate benefits. So I'm extraordinarily lucky and blessed that I have the opportunity to do that. And I try to remember that even when I have to work when I'm on vacation, a lot of people aren't even afforded that opportunity. So I'm grateful, I'm blessed. Life's good. Is it a date tonight? No, it's definitely not. <laughs> I am so single. I haven't been on a date in like a year and a half. Maybe longer. It's like pathetic. I like ask people out and they tell me no. All the time. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay. <laughs>